Hey y'all, this is Uniquely Made Jessica. Welcome to my channel. And this channel is dedicated to any and everything on a budget. Whether that's fashion, beauty, lifestyle, most just random things here and there. If it's on a budget and it's very affordable, I'll try my best to find it. So if this is the channel for you, like, rate, and subscribe. And today, I got some oils for, from The Scent For You. And this is my first time on camera in like three weeks or so. So if you want to see what I got, and I might do a little catch-up, catch-up. Please stay tuned. So, yeah, if you can tell the background's a little different, it's because I moved. In the last video I did, which was my empties video, I told y'all I was going to be moved to a new apartment. So, yeah, I'm in a new apartment. Me and my boyfriend moved in together about two weeks ago. So, we're just in the process of getting transitioning getting stuff we got everything moved in but like getting everything to our standards and everything so in my old spot i was in my living room i'm currently in my bedroom so you can see like some of the pictures back there these were in my living room previously so yeah and i think i recorded my room for now because it's like i got this light right here so i do have a ring light on but i can definitely take advantage of the natural light that comes in in the daytime and we have a neighbor that likes to play his music and that would be real distracting doing it in the new living room and got a crap ton of boxes still clothes i need to give away so it wasn't going to be a good look but yeah that's it about me y'all not here for that but anyway I got some oils from The Scent For You, and I got like 11 of them. So, I'm going to compare them to like some of the oils that I have in my collection now from different companies to see if it smells similar. And I might do like possible combos. I don't know. We're going to see where this video goes, but let me get these oils together and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the oils on my right hand side, <clears throat> and I just test them on here, on these strips, even though I really don't have any. Yeah, you saw that fly out. So, even though I don't really have nothing on my skin, I don't want to, like, confuse myself, because I would do that in the past. Even though I wasn't really confused, it will just be a lot going on. Sorry to keep interrupting, but let me get these off the floor, because these would not go to waste. I'm just going to jump right into this video because it seems like everything want to kind of get crazy all at once. Anyway, the first scent I have is Strawberry Lemonade. And as you know, because I've did videos on this company in the past, they're based out of Gary, Indiana. And the majority of their oils are like $2.50 a piece, which is really good because it's like, lately, if you get some oils like this in a beauty supply store, they're like $3, 4 $5, which is like a lot so and other places like fragrant body oils I do like them and you can get a drum size for $249 but getting a whole one third ounce for like $250 I don't think you can beat that I know they have other companies like wholesale body oils but I haven't tried them yet so this is strawberry lemonade it does kind of smell like a juice like you can definitely smell the strawberry lemonade on this i don't have anything in particular that i will have to mix with this i do have like a strawberry deodorant that i got from dove it's like aluminum free it's from their teen collection and i can wear that with this at night i don't have any lotions that would particularly go with this either but I was just curious because I was thinking about getting something to go with the strawberry pound cake. But strawberry pound cake and strawberry lemonade, not quite going to match if you get what I'm saying. So, But I do like this. So I think this smells like really good. The next one I have is, and if you see me leaning, I'm just grabbing this. Next thing I got is Jimmy Choo. I think it's called Vanilla Love or something like that. And I got a good bit of vanilla oils because I'm a vanilla lover. Ooh. Hold on. Just... That 
that was my boo. So, anyway, oh, this smells good. Jimmy Choo, and I think it's vanilla love, vanilla something. But honestly, Jimmy Choo, in my personal experience, hasn't had no misses. Like, I like the original, even though some people don't like it because it has a lot of patchouli. I like patchouli. I like that patchouli. I like that one. I definitely like Jimmy Choo Fever. I like Jimmy Choo Elicit. I want you and I want you forever. Definitely good. Let me, let me put this on. Ooh. I'm a vanilla girl forever, so. Oh my God, it smells good. It's like, it's definitely, it's, Jesus, why can I not talk today? It's definitely sweet gourmand, but I feel like it has a little extra something to it that makes it kind of sexy. Ooh. I like that one. I don't know exactly what to compare this to, but yeah, this, I might wear this to bed tonight with my cocoa butter and stuff. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely like this Jimmy Choo vanilla. So that's that. This next one is Velvet Sugar, which is the Bad and Body Works Velvet Sugar. So... And I think I might have smelled this in store before, and it's, like, really sweet. And I can, ooh, excuse me. And I can definitely smell it. Oh, yeah, it's, like, a real sugary, sweet fragrance. I could probably mix this with the strawberry pound cake. It's not I don't think it's strawberry in it. I don't know the notes, but I think I could probably mix this. And it could be like a really sweet kind of vibe. Yeah, it's definitely, it's like, van, it's not like super vanilla-y like what I got on the Jimmy Choo. But, yeah. This is really sweet. And it's like, let me go back to the Jimmy Choo. Hold on now. It's like, it's sweet but it got, it's like it's kind of warm they got something that makes it a little sexy i don't know i i don't know i might have to look up the notes but so far that jimmy choo is about to be a winner in my book the next one is golden sand and i have the original golden sand which is this by al rehab and as you can tell it's like it's almost gone and I've had this for almost a year. And this one is a good layering kind of scent. You can wear it by itself and you'll be perfectly fine. But this is a good layering scent. So I want to see if this smells like this. And it's kind of like a vanilla caramel kind of like vibe so let's see I feel like it smells similar and I just put some on the other end to kind of compare it yeah I feel like it's similar it's not 100% but I feel like it's like very like Similar. I feel like, of course, the original is going to be a tad bit stronger. But I got this from Amazon, too. But if you can't find this, I know they have this, like, on Triple Traders or whatever. But if some odd reason this is sold out or whatever and you're just in the beauty supply store or you are this scent for you, this would be good also. But, yeah, they smell pretty similar so I'm glad I have my brain is getting connected to the chair so y'all that's that the next one we have is Electric Cherry by Tom Ford and I have the one from Fragrant Body Oils but it's in the drum size and I did a video on that too and I like it it kind of like smells like a really sweet like cherry, Kool-Aid, fruit punch, kind of vibe. And whatever, so. Okay. 
But I got smell this one too. Yeah, this smells pretty similar to the one I got from Fragrant Body Oils. And I also tried the Cherry Smoke from Fragrant Body Oils. And I have a few lost cherry oils at home. Well, here. Anyway, so. It kind of get that, like, like I said, red, cherry Kool-Aid, fruit punch. It's really, like, sweet, but I think there's some kind of floral in there, too. Lately, I've just been a cherry fragrance kind of girl, so. I really do like this one. The next one I got is pink. You know, pink meow. That's all I'm going to say, because I can't say the actual word. Maybe I can. I mean, it ain't like a month size thing for him, but yeah, they ain't finna boot me off this island. So anyway, I know I like this because I this is my second one. I'm not finished with the first one. This is the first one that I got from the Sam for you, and you can see this how much I've used. Is I've used like over half. Well, for the most part, I've used over half. The only thing. And it doesn't happen with all of the oils. It only happens with like one or two. The roller ball, the actual ball will come out and I'll accidentally spill some of the oil. So this is like sweet, fruity. Yeah, like really sweet, really fruity. This is so simple, but you'll get compliments. You can wear this to bed. If you got a man, he would like this on you. I feel like I've been wearing this particular scent off and on since I was a kid. And it ain't never switched up and it always smelled good. So, yeah. As you can tell, I like that one. So, I got me a backup. This next one I have is supposed to be like the Nest Madagascar Vanilla. And I think I might have smelled that in Sephora, but I don't necessarily remember how it smells. So, we gonna see. Hopefully I like this one. Because there's not too many vanillas that I don't like besides Vanilla Vibes from Julia Has a Gun. It's not really my type of vanilla. It's kind of more green, which I'm really not feeling, but... I smell a little bit of something, but I'm not impressed. <laughs> and I don't know what I was kind of thinking. Do y'all remember the wild Madagascar vanilla scent from Bath and Body Works? I was kind of hoping it would be like that because I actually used to like that a lot more than wild than um, warm vanilla sugar, which I used to rock warm vanilla sugar when I was like middle school, high school, but. Not really so much now in my adult life. Yeah, I'm not really impressed with the Ness, but let me... Of course, it might not be like the exact real the Ness, but... Yeah, I'm not really feeling this one too much. It's like... It just kind of smells like oil with a very light, faint vanilla smell. So... This one is like kind of disappointing. It's alright, but it's not my favorite. But the Jimmy Choo one is definitely a lot better. This next one that I have is brown sugar. Hopefully, it smells like a warm brown sugary scent with like some kind of molasses or something. Hopefully, but we'll see. sugar smells a tad bit warm but it's still it almost gives me kind of like the Madagascar vanilla vibes it don't really smell like much um yeah I mean I'm gonna rub this somewhere else on my skin
Yeah, I'm not really feeling the brown sugar either. It's not giving me like warm, sugary kind of vibes. Maybe if I let those particular two sit longer, it might change color or something and then get a little bit richer. But right now, I'm not really feeling these last two. This next one is Love Don't Be Shy. And I have a Love Don't Be Shy oil that I got from Amazon like about a year or two ago. And as you can see, I really like it. And you can see how dark the juice is. So it's got a little bit sweeter. But it was sweet right off the bat. So I'm kind of concerned that this might not be hitting on what this is hitting on. But like I said, I've had this for like a year or two. So we shall see. So... And I actually had like dupes of Love Don't Be Shy and I actually had a sample of the actual Love Don't Be Shy so I could kind of compare it and see. It's 100%, but I feel like it's like 85 to 90 or so percent. So it's pretty close. I feel like you might have to sit, let this sit a tad bit longer so you can get like this, but it's pretty similar. So I ain't mad at it. It's in the same family. So I like, I like this one. And I only got like two more. And I have plans to match these with each other. So, this one I'm going to pick up now is Scarlet Poppy Intense by Joe Malone. And I think it was two people on YouTube that I watched. I think it was Vanilla McHale and Ksenia. And they were like, Scarlet Poppy is, if I had actual perfume, would be the perfume version of Victoria's Secret Velvet, Pe Velvet Petals. Jesus. So, this is supposed to be like, kind of like the perfume version of this and this is my second bottle of this so i've tried some john malone fragrances some of them don't really do it for me i do like english pear and freesia i do have a sample of that like over there somewhere so hopefully if i like this i'll be layering it with velvet petals and have a good old time and then i got the lotion to go with this too so yeah. I can see it. Ooh, that smell good. Ooh. I like this. It's like sweet, floral, kind of a tad bit powdery, but not like too powdery. Let me spray a little bit of this on there and see how it goes. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's that's the one. Oh, yeah, so I'll definitely be wearing these two together. I'm either do this like when I'm going to work or something because I do wear my perfumes when I'm going to work, but sometimes I just want to put on the body mist and I'm oil and call it a day. Yeah, that's the one. So thank you, y'all. So yeah, I'm here for this. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely here for these two. And the very last one. It's by Scotta, which is Sorbetta Rosa. And I have the um little sample oil that I have from Seed Fragrances. And my goal is to like wear this with my <clears throat> excuse me, groovy watermelon um body mist. Because I had the seed fragrance oil of this and I wore it with this and I have the shower gel and the lotion. It, it, it is giving like watermelon Jolly Rancher. So, yeah, let me see if I like this as much as I like the um 
the seed fragrance one. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to definitely wear this with this. Because I still got like a month or so of summer left. So I can wear this before it starts getting to have it cool outside. So. Oh, yeah, girl. This is it. This is it. Yeah. And let me spray this. Like, I'm right. You're going to smell good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. So that is all the oils from the scent for you. And as usual, these are good ways to try different fragrances without, you know, breaking the bank. Because pretty much, how much did I pay for these? I paid $27.50 with free shipping for 11 oils. And they might have, I think they have some that's like, maybe 10 and it's like considered like the niche in indie brands that's kind of like this so i haven't tried those but this is a very good deal i will forever be a perfume oil girl been a perfume oil girl since i was a little girl so perfume oil supremacy forever so i like a lot of the ones that i had some were kind of like disappointments like which ones? This one, this, not velvet sugar, wrong one. Brown sugar and the Madagascar vanilla, I'm like real disappointed in these. Like, these did not do it for me at all. It's just real light, real soft, and I just, mm -mm. Wasn't really feeling those, but I might still use them and get them done. Sorbetto, yeah. Definitely, like, really fruity and sweet. I like that one. Love Don't Be Shy was cool. I'm going to wait till I finish using this one. Because as you can see, this one has all the death and the juice. So, yeah. I do like that one. Of course, I like Electric Cherry. This is my second one, so I definitely like that one. Um, Scarlet, Scarlet, Poppy Intense was like, smells really good. So I'm really excited to wear that with the velvet petals and the velvet sugar. It's going to be probably like a bedtime scent. Or I'll mix it with any of my other vanilla, like, body sprays and lotions and stuff like that. Last three. Strawberry Lemonade, I don't know what I'm going to wear this with, but I like it. It's definitely giving, like, a strawberry lemonade drink. So, I like that one. Um, Golden Sand smell pretty similar to the original Golden Sand by Al Rehab. Get the Al Rehab one. I wish they had Golden Sand in a spray, like a perfume. That one smelled too good for it to only be in a roll-on bottle. But this is pretty close, so I recommend it. This is the one. I knew it was vanilla, and I was like, okay, I might like it. This is my favorite one. The Jimmy Choo Vanilla. And it's like, is there like some kind of spice? And it's, because it's like, it's warm, it's sweet, but it's like it got like some kind of spice. And I don't know what it is. But I this is my favorite one out of this whole, like, haul. So, that's pretty much it for this video. First video in my new apartment, so I'm happy about that. I want to kind of, like, get back in the swing of things and, like, making content or whatever. If you have any suggestions for any other videos, let me know. Have you tried these oils or the actual perfumes for these oils or body mist? Because some of these are bad and body works inspired. Let me know. And chop it up with me in the comments. I'm pretty happy to talk to y'all and whatever. And I'm start running my mouth and I'm just glad to be back. So, alright. Until next time.